back to Tech and Feel by Chico. Subscribe. Yeah, man. Marco Tino is back. Yes, Marco Tino has just landed at the Jomo Kenyatta International Airport coming from Italy where he had gone for a race. Track and Free by Chico, we are live at the Jomo Kenyatta International Airport and uh, I had the privilege to talk to Mark and uh, this is what he had to say. Well, my friend, you tired, eh? It's in the corner domes. In the corner In domes. In the domes. What is domes? Domes in the onset, onset muscle soles. In the corner Ah, <laughs> man. In the real. Okay, Mark. Otienu, Karibu sana Kenya. Thank you. Um, congratulations on your first race. Oh, thank you. <clears throat> after so two much. years. Yes. Um, <clears throat> I don't know. My voice is getting lost. Ah, no, it's okay. I'm because it's cold. Okay, uh, Mark. Uh -huh. uh, now that you're back on track, how do you feel about your first race? Um, to be honest, there's no pressure. Number one. Number two is that I just want to have fun and see where I'm at. And I've realized that um, it's normal to start with where you are, even if it's a uh, 10, 8, or 10, 7, or 10, 6, 10, 5. Yeah, so I was so glad uh, we went to get an opportunity to go race at Italy and do a 10-3. Mm, nice. And uh, did you feel like you're going to run that, that, that particular time you ran? No, to be honest, um, I've come to the, I've, of all the years, I've, no, I've never been away from, for, from, from competition for like two years, so this is my first time. And um, I've realized that it's okay because I wasn't expecting a 10 3. You know, I had, I had high expectations as an athlete, but um, <laughs> I came to realize that um, the, I should not put pressure on myself. First things first. So the 10 3 9 was just a breakthrough for an opener. And I came to realize that also Justin Gatlin started his, his um, wow. season with a 10 34. Nice. Romel, out of an injury, came with a 10 5 and he ran three times in a, in a span of one year just you know to come back okay. ah nice and uh usually most people when they come back mm -hmm. uh, yeah, that I know. <laughs> all right yes. uh most people most people when they come back they usually get scared and nervous mm -hmm. uh for you did not compete for two years yeah uh, coming back when the gun went off what's what was in your mind um i've never done reaction before i've just been doing blocks without a starting gun but my, my, my aim was just not to not to anticipate not to anticipate but just to listen to listen to the gun so I just went there to get a good reaction get a good um, execution as well so that's what I did and I executed how I used to execute during uh, my, my training so and I've realized they're both different and ah. uh, <laughs> I wasn't panicking but um, the good thing is that it was just mixed emotions of just being mm. just having that same just that feeling of just being in a competition ah yes and uh, are there any more races to come this season um to be honest i'll say no not yet because of financial strength but um if i do get finances and at least since i've got a season of best i can build from that to get some few races in italy i know there are two in italy next month and after ah. that i think guys are shutting down for off season yeah, so Europe, there are a couple of races, but yeah, it's just money, money things. Speaking of finances, yes. um, how can people help? Woo. Um, I don't know, because right now I'm looking forward to market myself and get corporates, just, you know, um, to sponsor me next year. I know I can get, um, go drilling, I can get fans to go for next year, and not about training and, you know, going forward. Um, all the way because I've realized that of course sprints is expensive because yes. um, yeah True. trying to get like a good lump sum of money that will propel me and help me qualify for next year's Olympic Games. Okay yeah. and uh, now that the season has begun can you describe your season in one word? In one word? Yes. Um, amazing. Amazing. <laughs> and uh, what are you planning for us uh, next season? Or rather, what are you planning to achieve first? Next um, what I'm planning to achieve is just to get back now into competition mode. Because I've been do, I've been in training mode for the past two years. Right now, I'm getting myself back into competition, competition mode. mode. Nice. Get, um, race after race, the 200, the 100, you know, maybe the 400, you never know, but yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and uh, the Olympic season is uh, in less than one year. Uh -huh. uh, what are you planning for your fans? Sorry? What are you planning for your fans? For, for my for your fans the fans who are watching you, your fans who, oh yeah, uh, yeah. Um, what are you planning for olympic season olympic season yeah. um right now my mind is uh to bring an olympic medal okay. nice yeah. nice that's a good answer and the fans are also asking when is marco Tieno running the four by 100 meters 
Oh, that's a very good question. Next year we having um, we having well drillers. It's coming back to the same place where it started Bahamas. Bahamas. And I'm also looking forward to participate in that either four by two or four by one. Nice. Either. either I can do both. Ah, speaking of four by two. Yes. Uh, the first time Kenya went uh, to Bahamas was uh, in 2014, yes. and they came with a national record. Yeah. It has never been broken. Mm -hmm. And. Uh, <laughs> Was one <laughs> <laughs> Chico, was there. Chico was one of the members yes. and the record is still standing mm -hmm. um are you guys planning to break it because it's not even a hard time to break but it's so it has never been it's broken it's so funny because you'll find one person is in shape yeah the others are struggling True. two people are in shape mm -hmm. um two are struggling it's just mix it's just a mixture of athletes with different backgrounds different um training sessions that they are doing yeah, but I believe yeah, next yeah. year things will be much better and let's hope that uh, we can go with the record hopefully and again defend the silver or even get gold mm. and speaking of the relays what position do you prefer running I prefer start starting the lead off and why is that um, I'm a good starter that's uh, what people say, people say uh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah so do you think you're a good starter well, the best in Kenya oh the be well um, Judging by the reaction that I did yesterday uh -huh. in Italy, I saw that I had the fastest reaction. Ooh, nice, so, nice, uh, nice, nice, nice. And nice. 0.163. Nice. And um, I believe I am, but I haven't tested myself with the best of the best. Like for example, at a final. You know, when you're at a final, that's where that's where now you, you can test yourself if you're the best or yeah. the starter. Because I know Coleman is a good starter. Bromel is a good starter. Yeah, 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 yeah. So if I place myself in between, the Ferdinand is also a good starter. If I place myself um, in them, <laughs> that's when we'll know if I'm up. <laughs> All right. <laughs> and uh, now that you're not going to Budapest, mm -hmm. um, what's your prediction? One to three Woo! in terms of countries, not in names, of countries. Just, just countries. Um, for the 100 meters men, I would say it's very open. Mm -hmm. You never know. Kenya might be number one, might be number two or three. Yep. Um, I'll say US. I'm still banking on Kenya, mm -hmm. and I'll say US again. And, right. if, not, so and if not, Great uh -huh. Britain. <laughs> so it's Kenya, US, and Great Britain. Yes, nice. Kenya, US, Great Britain. Okay, um, uh, do you have a favorite workout session? Yes, just speed session. Speed session? Yes. And uh, what frustrates you during meets in Kenya? Like, for example, me, what frustrates me is uh, uh -huh. when the, they say a meeting is supposed to start at 9, then they start around 11, maybe 10. Is there any other thing that frustrates you during the weekend meet or any other international meet? Um, I'll say the same thing. Mm -hmm. I, um, there's a lot of lumps of time that's being taken too much, like guys are warming up. And I'll say another thing that frustrates me is that we mix senior and junior athletes together. So uh. we need to separate them and mm. do them separately. If it's a junior meet, it's a junior meet. We can't have 100 meters with 30. It's, it's yeah, true, yeah true, mixed true, with true. juniors and seniors ah. because it's quite frightening for them and I won't place them in such a position. Nice. Yeah. All right, Makutieno. Uh, thank you so much and right. congratulations for your first race thank running you. a 1039, <laughs> and we wish you the best in the upcoming races. Yes. All right, Steph. Yes. Uh, you seem so happy. What's uh, what's what's what's, what's, what's going on? Uh, my husband just landed. Oh, Makutieno's wife. Ah. <laughs> Ah, so are you seeing? Oh yeah, Mark just landed, mm -hmm. and I'm very, very excited to see him. I just wanted him to come back home. <laughs> I didn't care what he did. Came back with, I just wanted him back home. Ah, right. Mark just ran a 10:39. That was his first race after two years. Mm -hmm. Um, how do you feel about it? Oh my gosh, I'm so proud of him. Um, it's 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 insane that he can still do a 10:39 despite being out for two years. I'm really, really, really super proud of him, and um. Yeah, it's onward from here. And uh, did you expect Mark to run those times? Because considering you've been training with him, you've been there for him, supporting him, and uh, I also asked him one question that, who's your biggest supporter? He said, my wife. Yeah. So did you expect Mark to run uh, those times or even faster? Actually, as much as I'm his wife, I'm his teammate, just as you said. <laughs> and I knew he was going to run those times because uh. I've seen him in training. And yeah, I expected that. Actually, he's quite faster than what I anticipated. Ah, that's nice. Yeah. And uh, coming uh, now, the season is about to be finished. Mm -hmm. uh, next season, mm -hmm. uh, what do you have? What are your plans? First of all, <laughs> I 
Um. <laughs> okay, so you do not have plans, but what what do you have? Do you have any plans uh, for your husband, Marco Tim? Um, yeah, just to make sure that he's in the right space of mind to perform at his peak, and just to be by his side and to support him whenever and whatever he needs. Okay, and uh, can you describe his season in one word? Because I already asked him the question, but I want you to hear it from you. Miraculous. Miraculous. Nice. Miraculous. That's a good one. Yeah. Okay, um, Steph. Yes. Next year, uh, Olympic season. Um, anticipate or just guess. What time do you think Makotin is going to run? Oh my gosh. Um, can can I come back and 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 get back to you uh, January? Nice. And I gauge him because as of now he's at ten four. <laughs> ten three. Ten three. No. Ten three nine. Yeah. That's so a, um, yeah. I'd have to check his ship by February and then I'll get back to you on that. All right. Yeah. Last question. Mm -hmm. The World Championships are here, Budapest. Mm -hmm. um, anticipate uh, the men's 100 meters. Mm -hmm. One to three. In no particular order. No particular order. Yeah. Zanel Hughes, huge fan. Um, Fadi. Mm -hmm. um, number three would be either Fred Kali or Noah Lyles. Either ah. of the two. Yes. Okay, Steph. Yes. Thank you so much. And. Uh, Congratulations Thank for your you. husband and for yourself too. Thank you. Uh, Kama Kawaida, you're watching. Track and field by Chico, share and subscribe. Track and field by Chico.